We've been very pleased with them. We've been surprised at how much they've actually played, a little bit more than we anticipated. When you take in young players, uh, I think it's Riley's first loan, uh, Will second, you're never quite sure how they're going to adapt to the level, but they're both from the first few days that they joined us. Um, they've, they've been brilliant in every single aspect. They've played games, I think Riley's played more, Will's had a couple of injuries uh, and an illness recently, which has restricted his appearances, but absolutely delighted with, uh, with both of them. And, uh, I think they've fitted in. That's the biggest thing you, you worry about. You're taking lads from a, a Premier League club as well, coming down to League Two. You do worry about are they going to fit in? You know, everything's not going to be up to the same standard. But in terms of that, they've both been absolutely spot on. I'm really enjoying it at the minute, playing all the time and getting the experience out at Mansfield. The boys here are all brilliant. They've made it easy for myself to fit right in. I knew obviously Swanee was here before I came, and a few other familiar faces from outside of football. So yeah, it was really easy. The physical side of it is the biggest um, you know, change that you have to deal with, especially going from 21s, 23s, you know, 18s football. So um, yeah, in terms of developing, I think uh, coming in and playing in you know, League Two uh, is a massive help, yeah. It's never easy to come to a new place. Uh, you know, the first, first day or two, get settling in. Having someone else that you know here, uh, like Riley, um, makes it really easy. I think that's one of the, the few failings of the, uh, of the academy system is they don't play out their own age group. And even up to now, under 23s, they're not really playing against sort of hardened professionals. Uh, and that's why getting out on loan and any experience they can get in the likes of League One, League Two uh, is so important for the development. And it's great that Forrest recognise that as well. Some clubs want to keep them in-house and say, well, you know, we'll keep playing our 23s football. And then they step up to the first team and physically they're not prepared for it and not ready. Uh, so I think, it's, I think it's wonderful for them both. It's great for us to have them, uh, but it's also wonderful for them to get that experience. I think every single player is fighting for the three points on a Saturday. And um, in an academy, different, different people are in different situations. You might have younger players. Uh, older players looking to get out on loan and stuff like that. This is all a group thing and being together and fighting for three points on a Saturday. It means more than 20, you know, 21s, 23s. It's, it's focused on uh, like developing the players. Whereas, you know, everything uh, here is geared towards, you know, the game at the weekend and getting three points just to get as high as high as we can. You know, they were unfortunate last year uh, losing out in the final at Wembley, so I'm sure you know everyone that was here last season will be wanting to um, you know make up for that this season. Playing against different opposition at the weekend, playing on the left hand side as a right footed defender. There's lots of little things, but I feel like I'm adapting well with them. Being in a first team environment, uh, playing on a weekend in front of a crowd for three points, there's nothing really better than that. And I think Forrest is brilliant with the players and pushing them out and stuff and giving them the experience and stuff but now it's been it's been good as young players it's unlikely they're going to play 40 50 games a season because um, that's too much of an ask for them uh, but anything sort of around the 25 30 35 games mark uh, is vital experience for them so I'd say every I'd advise every young player at any age to get out and experience it as well